Welcome back to the channel, everybody. We've got an iron comparison video for you today, and it's the new Callaway Apex DCB iron. So their new forge game improvement iron in the Apex family up against the Ping G425. So two irons that are in that game improvement category, lots of forgiveness, lots of technology happening in these two clubs. One's forged with the Callaway, one isn't forged. So we're gonna have to have a little discussion about that and see if there's any differences that feel. Obviously we've got Trapman so we can measure the, the, the numbers against these two particular irons. And both of these seven irons are in at 30 degrees of loft. Okay, so we're going to kick things off with the Ping to start off with. So obviously, new G425, and as always, Ping, you know, they make great products, don't they? Their irons have always been very, very strong. Probably, for me, not the best-looking irons uh, out there, but an iron that always tends to perform very, very well and obviously gets a really good, strong following. Big improvements for me with the 425, maybe against 410, in, in the way it actually looks and the finish of the club and the way it sort of sits behind that golf ball. Obviously, it's long blade length, heel to toe, bit of offset there, medium thickish top line, as you'd expect from this type of iron. It's a nice strike to start off with. And as we always expect with these sort of irons, we're gonna see that nice high towering ball flight. Pretty decent on that ball speed with this type of loft. So as I say, this is seven iron coming in at 30 degrees of loft. So obviously it's strong, which we're gonna expect, but it's not silly strong i would always call you know some obviously we can see it 27 28 degrees seven irons now don't we but uh so it's not ridiculously strong and i think the first thing really jumps out there is it's quite a clicky quick clicky sort of sound to that in terms of the you know the way it sort of sounds off coming off that club face you know it's not a forged product this so probably not going to sound as soft or as muted that's where i'm really interested to see how the dcb stacks up in terms of that sound and that feel and that acoustics right yeah so that was definitely out of that toe not the greatest of strikes on that particular one. You can see that on the screen. Uh, ball speed, one, two, two. So it hasn't dropped huge. Spin five, two, carry one, eight, seven. So again, this is obviously the beauty around more game improvement irons, this peripheral weight, you know, shifting that weight around. Uh, it obviously just helps on those uh, real sort of miss hits. So obviously much of an advantage for the type of golf who would probably move that strike pattern around or maybe just not quite as central or as consistent in that strike pattern. That's a better strike. Okay, it's just that little bit clickier on that noise. Not a greatest fan of the sound of that, uh, that, that iron, to be honest. It found, sounds quite hard, quite brash. Okay, a little bit low in that club face. A couple of grooves further down. Just feel that a little bit. Okay, so there's five shots hit with the ping in the G425. So again, it's a good looking product. It's finished, it's quality, as we know and always expect from ping. Maybe that sounds just a little bit clunky, clicky sort of sound in a way. Uh, but performance wise, it's gonna do a job, isn't it? In terms of, uh, you know, that distance, that sort of, typically that spins in that area because of the loft in that 30 degrees. So we'll move on to the Callaway DCB. Right, so DCB Apex, this is a new offering to the Apex family uh, for 2021 it, with regards to DCB. So deep cavity back is what it stands for. So ultimately it's a little bit more chunky. It's a little bit more of that perimeter weighted, a little bit more of that forgiveness levels and obviously a little bit more of that powerful. Yet we still got that Apex name, which we always associate. And it means that we've got then got a forged body and trying to have a little bit of that player's look and that finish obviously um without going super thin and you know putting that down by the ball there's a bit of offset in there there's obviously quite a thickish top edge as you're going to expect from this type of iron maybe not quite as long from that heel to the toe the blade length in comparison to the ping but it's a really nice looking club it has a little bit of that player's iron appearance and obviously with the word apex there sort of just backs that up a little bit but it is still in there what they call in a, a powerful iron so this could be ticking a lot of boxes for a lot of golfers as i say it's forged it's 30 degrees seven iron and makeup is exactly the same as the ping one in terms of length flex and everything like that and again that's a really nice high towering ball flight 30 degrees of loft that still launches really really high yeah so we can see 124 so good ball speed there and um, spin five one one nine two on that carry 
Yeah, I mean, straight away there, the feel and the sound for me are, are much better with the Callaway. It's that force head, it's more that muted sound. It's not as clicky, not as high pitched in a way. You know, very similar sort of spin numbers we can see, ball speed very similar, you know, about 30 degrees of loft. But I think just a little bit more of that player's look in comparison to G425. A little bit more of that feel there with that forged head. Yeah, very different sound, very different feel to it. Obviously, it's going to be a difference of price because this is a forged product against the ping. So the ping iron with a steel shaft is coming in at £115 per iron and the Apex DCB is coming in at £145. So, you know, £30 difference of price per iron is obviously going to add up a little bit through the set. But you're typically going to see that difference because, again, you go into that forged product against a non-forged. So then you've got to really sort of weigh up, you know, is, is, is that look and that feel and that sound um, something that you're willing to pay that extra sort of money for. And, and to be honest, if you go and test these, you might prefer the sound of the, the ping over the Callaway. You know, everybody's a little bit different. Obviously, these videos is always my personal view of these clubs and, and you know, my preferences in a way, which obviously can be very different to yours. Yeah, and I think this is a really good addition for Callaway in their range, you know, in the Apex range. As I say, I think a lot of golfers would desire to be into that player's bracket in a way, which is the name Apex, you know, maybe desire to have that forged uh, sort of feel and that feedback, yet they need the forgiveness of that real perimeter weighted of that game improvement iron and a little bit of the stronger loft in terms of trying to get a little bit of distance on, on the golf shots out there. So it can potentially tick quite a lot of boxes for certain golfers out there. Yeah fraction heavy if i'm gonna get really picky on there might just pull that spin down a little bit yeah full seven just when i catch that little heavy one did that with the ping one i think it was the second or third shot okay right there's five shots hit with each of those irons let's just check a few numbers out a little bit more detail okay so just looking into the dispersion rings uh, to start off with so the white was a ping yellow was the callaway so very similar out they just have that one with the the ping that just left out slightly to the right which has obviously just increased that to dispersion so not a great deal in it and um, just that last one I hit there which I caught a little bit heavy just dropped the spin a little bit obviously that just pops that um, ball out a little bit further through that lower spin obviously just creates that slight longer one there but the others are very sort of similar and then just looking at the side on view and uh, bird's eye view of the two irons so this is the white again which is the ping so we can see fairly sort of tightish window those have launched out just my subtleties of strike up and down the club face just changing that fractionally and looking that up against the callaway possibly a little bit tighter uh, on those shots just a fraction longer as we've just seen but if we look into the sort of numbers we can see club head speed 90.7 against uh, with a ping against the uh, just short of 89 so yeah a little bit of different speed there one and a half like, as i say shaft weight's the same length's the same um didn't really feel that difference to be honest but obviously it is there 123 against 128 so you can see there we've actually got a little bit more ball speed with the callaway um with less club head speed than we have with the ping with more speed so i just felt more comfortable it's more of a club that that looks I say it's not like what I play with, but it's looking more in that shape. It's got that feel, felt a little bit more confident with it. Possibly, you know, launch very, very similar. You see the spin's just that little bit lower, the apex is a cut, that one a little bit heavy, but then I did have that one in there as well with the ping, which I did catch a tiny bit, a tiny bit heavy as well. Um, so ping maybe just a little bit better spin number, potentially, you know, in terms of holding greens when it comes into land, both landing at 47 degrees descent angle so um you know got a bit of stopping power through that sort of height and that descent angle in itself right okay so there we go there's um two sort of more game improvement irons but obviously the Callaway offering that forge and probably that little bit of a nice look potentially uh, down behind that golf ball so as i said i think that's a fantastic addition from Callaway in in their range what would i go for out of those two clubs i, I 
probably just preferred a little bit of that spin number with the ping. There wasn't a huge amount of difference in it, but I think for me, the looks and the feel are, are, are important to me. If I'm in that purchasing um, environment, I would want to see the looks, the feel. Obviously, the performance has got to be important and fitting where I would like it to sort of see and pretend and more of it being optimum for my sort of speeds, everything like that. Obviously, shaft length and everything like that, which you would do through a fitting. But in terms of that feel, the Callaway for me is a, a better product. But then again, you have got a price difference. So you've also got a way in that budget side of things as well, haven't you? Okay. And I'm not saying the Ping is a bad product at all. You know, Ping make very good product and I think they always will do. I don't think they'll ever go away from not making great products. So it's just, again, it's more of that personal preference and how it suits you and your delivery. Okay. Post comments down below. Let me know your thoughts. Love to hear your thoughts as always. If you enjoy the content, make sure you just hit that subscribe button very much appreciate we're just getting close to that 50,000 subscriber mark which hopefully we can get there sooner rather than later and hopefully we'll catch up with you all very soon